Start by laying out your DIY fuel cell car parts and chassis parts. Keep them separate. Take front axle and insert it into the front wheel supporter. Insert one front wheel bumping post and one rubber washer to each end of the axle. Install wheels to each side of the axle. Front and rear wheels are identical. Insert one small screw into the front wheel supporter and through the chassis. Insert one metal profiled washer and one small nut onto the small screw. Snugly tighten screw and nut with provided screwdriver and nut driver. Now take motor and install wheels on each side of the axle. Use two long screws to install motor onto chassis. Use small nut to secure motor to chassis. Snugly tighten. Now it's time to install reversible fuel cell. Inspect your fuel cell. Does it have two large, longer screws at the bottom of the fuel cell? If not, pause video and install now. It's time to install the fuel cell holder onto the bottom of the fuel cell. Fasten using big nut provided. Tighten with slight pressure. Let's install the fuel cell onto the chassis. Use any of the nine holes in the center of the chassis. Two small screws, two flat metal washers, and two small nuts will secure the fuel cell to the chassis. Slightly snug the nuts with the included wrench.
Now choose between 5 milliliter syringe and 20 milliliter syringe. Test them out to see what works best for you. Pause the video now. Cut two pieces of silicone tubing to 3 centimeters and two pieces to 12 centimeters. Continue video. Insert the two 12 cm silicone tubings to the selected syringe. Now insert two 3 cm silicone tubing pieces to the pressure relief valve. Now fill one syringe, one third, with distilled water. Regular water can damage the fuel cell. Remove nozzle covers from fuel cell. Take filled syringe and install it to the lower oxygen side of the fuel cell. Hydrogen side is marked with H2 and oxygen side is marked with O2. Some water may leak from the top nozzle. Install pressure relief valve on bottom of both nozzles. Discard remainder of distilled water from syringe. Install both syringes to top valves. They should both be closed. Plug in red and black wire sets to the fuel cell. Install two AA batteries into battery pack, batteries not included. Clamp battery wires to red and black wire sets. Turn on battery pack. Now the electrolysis will begin. You may need to help get the syringes started. Give each syringe a slight pull. Turn off battery pack once hydrogen syringe is full. The side marked H2. Turn off battery pack. Set aside the battery pack. Now attach the wire set from the fuel cell to the motor. Do not allow wire sets to touch. If your car is moving in reverse, 
Reverse the motor connections. Alternative to the pressure valve, you can use red and black pins. You can use plastic clamps as on and off switch. Now it's time to race. <laughs> 